Ever thought about collecting the old round one pound coins? Well, stick around and watch this video, because I just scored big time. Hello and welcome back to another Coins to Collect video. Today I have one of my coins in my pocket video, uh, which is where I just tell you about some of the coins that I've come across over the last few weeks. And I haven't done one of these for ages. Obviously on Monday night's video, which is my uh, 10p coin hunt from the arcades of South End Seafront, please let me know if you liked that video. Um, it was nice to get out of the cabin and it was nice to go out into the wild and hunt for coins, so to speak. No, I had a good time, mate Pete enjoyed himself as well, we had a bit of a laugh. We did a bit of a bar crawl along the seafront as well. <laughs> as you see, I got a couple of really nice finds, so I won't spoil that for you if you haven't already seen that video, but a little, little card up here, I'll try that out, I don't do that very often. A little card up there to tell you, or to direct you to that video, but watch this one first, stay here, watch this one first. So anyway, back to today's video, coins in my pocket video, and the other reason I haven't done one of these in a long time is because, well, I haven't actually found that many coins worth talking about uh, in my change. So let me just run through some of the slim pickings that I have found. So some common ones. First one is this uh, little Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. Can't remember if that was at work or just in my change generally. Generally. A dictionary, which is really, really, really common. Commonwealth Games. We're sort of getting better every time I show you a new coin. And then I actually spotted a 2008 Britannia. That's a good find. Cool. And then the last 50p I want to talk about is this Sherlock Holmes. Now this is the first Sherlock Holmes that I've found out there in the wild. Caledonian coins for instance. He's done a couple of videos recently where he's found 12, 14 plus Sherlock Holmes in one hunt. Absolutely crazy, but I haven't found any. And this is the first one I've come across, like I say, um, in my change. Two pound coin that I found the other day was this 2015 any guesses what this could be? I haven't got this for my album, so it's uh, it's a welcome addition to my Change Checker album. Any more guesses? 2015, and it is a Britannia. And that, like I say, that is missing from my album. So I've got my album open and ready. I've got a 2016 uh, Britannia and I've left the space for the 2015 so let's put that in now I don't do a lot of um, well I haven't done a two pound coin hunt for ages so any addition to this album is is very welcome uh, welcome and overdue now I've got another two pound coin to go in this album as well but that's a bit of a different story oh I can't remember where I was I can't remember if I was at a bank or somewhere else I guess I must have been at the bank. Um, but anyway, she said, yeah, oh, oh, I've got some old two pound coins here. And I'm like, oh yes, very nice. So have a look. And we've got this one, which is the 1986 Commonwealth Games coin. And I have actually got one already there. Um, and it's a, a, a bunk coin um, that my dad collected, obviously way back in 1986. So I've got one of those. And this is in a bit of a poor condition anyway, it's very tarnished. Um, you flip it over and on the uh, obverse side, the I don't know if you can see it on there, but around the, this little bit of space here, it's really grimy and you might be able to see the sort of strokes and lines where someone's tried cleaning it and just couldn't get the grime off. Anyway, so anyway, you've got one of those. And then she said, oh, I've got a second one of those. <laughs> so there's two spare 1986 a Commonwealth Games £2 coins. Then I see something that I haven't got in my album. And this is the, double check before I tell you, 1989 Bill of Rights coin. There is a sister coin to this, and it is the Claim of Rights, the same year. Almost the same design, 
apart from the crown is a little bit different design on the claim rights double check that yes yeah it's a different crown on the claim of rights but this is the bill of rights and i've got a second one <laughs> so i've got two of these and two of the commonwealth games again these are both pretty grimy pretty grubby i think this one on the right's ever so slightly better so we'll put that into my change checker album there we go i need to find the claim of rights bank of england Ooh, very similar again that's a nice one the peace of uh united nations Ooh. and the 1996 would have been the euros wouldn't it i've got five more of those old one pound um old two pound coins to find Okay, a couple other things. There is there is one big thing that I'm leaving till the end, but uh, one other thing I want to talk about now. Put this to one side for the moment. So my mum and my sister went to Leeds Castle the other day, which strangely enough isn't in Leeds, it's in Kent, which is nowhere near Leeds. So why it's called Leeds Castle, I don't know. Anyway, in the gift shop, <laughs> She actually got me uh, this collection of British monarchs coins and they're all pennies. Um, and then we start there with the Queen Victoria penny, the uh, Edward the Seventh, George the Fifth in the middle, King George the Sixth, and Queen Elizabeth the Second to finish. Uh, so then this quite nice sort of little presentation pack and on the back it's got a little bit about the history of Queen Victoria, Edward, George and George and of course about Elizabeth, Elizabeth at the end. That's Edward, quite worn, that's the Victoria coin. Georgie boy, another Georgie boy, the Queen's dad, this one, and then Queen Elizabeth II. All one penny coins. But yeah, that's quite a nice little set. I'll put that to one side and I'll keep hold of that. Um, but I think she paid about six quid for this. A bit overpriced, really, but um, that's your gift shop for you, really. You're gonna tap, you're gonna pay top dollar, as it were. But that was very nice of her. Uh, thank you. Um, I do much appreciate that. That's brilliant. A big thank you to Absolute Coins. Um, I was asking a few of the coin tubers the other day, is there a list somewhere of all the territory coins? Especially like the Isle of Man. I know there's tons of those coins. I wanted some sort of reference guide for that. Absolute Coins said, why don't you get the 50 pence guide 2019? And this is an amazing book. If you, if you like your 50p's, you really should get this book. Um, I got this from eBay. I'm pretty sure that's the only place you can get it from. You might be able to get it from Amazon, but uh, the 50 pence guide 2019, Andrews Coins UK. And this lists all the 50p coins that were ever made. So it starts off with a bit about uh, the Fakes, uh, Great Britain, Olympics, Isle of Man, Gibraltar, Jersey, Guernsey, Falkland Islands. I want to get more Falkland Islands coins. Oh. Um, and then bleh, the coloured coins. I don't like coloured coins. I really don't. Uh, there's a new um, £5 Remembrance uh, coin with a poppy. And that does look nice with just the red poppy. Just that little hint of colour does look nice. It's got loads of details, lots of facts. Say Battle of Britain there at the bottom. Get obviously the name, dimensions of the coin, how many were minted, obviously the year, and a rough guide to the price. So circulated and uncirculated. But you know, you can't always go by this book, so the, the, the prices fl fluctuate um, quite a bit. Best thing to do is if you want a coin, go onto eBay, search for that Pacific coin, and then filter that search by sold or completed auctions, and then you'll see the true value of what those coins actually sold for. 
look at about 10 of those sales and then from that 10 you can work out what the average of that particular coin that you're looking for and um, you can then figure that out from there. We've got the pre-97, uh, the older large star coins and then the, uh, the newer shaped coins. So it goes up to the 2019 Peter Rabbit and the reissued 50 years of 50p coins like the Kew Gardens and the Roger Bannisters, the 2019 coins. Of course, like I said, the Olympics and then the Isle of Man coins. Now this is, like I say, this is a great book, very informative, but oh my God, so scary at the same time because I've just realized that literally half the book is all territories coins and there's so many more coins out there that I now need to collect. Oh dear. I'm going to be at this forever. But yeah, Isle of Man. These Isle of Man coins are absolutely stunning. Gibraltar and Jersey and Guernsey and like I say, the Falkland Islands as well. And other isles. Anyway, lots of stuff. And of course, like I say, it ends in the coloured coins, which nah, don't, don't do anything for me. But anyway, thanks again, Absolute Coins, for recommending this. Best book, best scariest book I've bought in a long time. Okay, thanks for that. Right, one pound coins. I went into my local post office and I was painting some coins from a coin hunt I shot a couple of days ago. Um, interesting fact, my bank, which is Halifax, that only lets me put in 10 bags of coins at a time. The post office, however, I can go there with a hundred pound of 10 P's and they'll take the lot, they'll take them all. Um, and while I was in the post office, uh, one of the gentlemen behind the counter was a bit disgruntled with one of his colleagues for accepting some pound coins. Um, apparently the post office have stopped taking pound coins. Your bank is still taking pound coins, but post office have said they'd stopped. So now this guy is now lumbered with these pound coins. I step forward and say, can I buy those pound coins from you? And of course, yes, please help me. So here I've got a bag of 30 old round one pound coins. And let me tell you something, mate. I have struck proverbial gold with this. This is amazing. Most of them are quite common as such, but there are some absolutely cracking gems in here. So I printed off the change checker scarcity index and right at the top is the Scotland Edinburgh Cities coin. Wales, England, ah, the Scottish Thistle and Bluebells is fourth. Northern Ireland, Bel Belfast City is quite a way down actually in the scarcity index. But anyway, so some of them I've got, some of them I haven't. Let me just have a little quick look back in a second. Right, I've um, sorted those out quickly. I'm just gonna zoom into them a little bit better. These are all the coins, uh, the 30 coins that I got from my local post office. First two is Royal Arms, I've got five of those. And then the Thistle next to it on the right, I've got a couple of those. We got the Leek and the Dragon. I've got one of those Leeks. And it looks like I've got two of those Dragons. The Celtic Cross, that one there. And the Three Lions. Uh, three of the lions, four of the crosses. We've got the, uh, just the one Menai bridge. I think that's how you say Menai. Uh, I've got four of the, probably my favorite one, the Royal Arm Shield. I've got four of those. And then brings me on to the cities. Now the two that I have already in my album, Belfast on the left and the London one on the right. Uh, both 2010. And then two that I'm really excited about that I don't have in my book is the Cardiff one pound coin. And that is number two on the change checker scarcity index. And number one, top of the list. This is like the Q Gardens of the 50Ps. This Edinburgh City's one pound coin is the top dog when it comes to the old round one pound coins. So that is pretty cool to have that finally in my collection. So I've got those two. We've got two more at the end there was the coat of arms and they were the second to last pound coins. And they're quite nice. That's the 2015 coat of arms. 
I say second to last. The very last one um, I've actually found this morning, uh, a really nice one on eBay, and I'm waiting for it. And it's, I think it's just called the last round one pound coin. I'll put a picture up here on the screen to show you. But yes, one of those is coming my way. Um, and then finally, just to finish these pound coins off, the last two that I got in this uh, 30 pound bag was a jersey. I think it was a 1985, that one. Can't see if that's a, I think that might be a 1983 actually. Let me turn. I think that's a 1983. I think my eyesight's getting really bad. Uh, 1983 jersey, one pound coin which is nice, I like in that. And then unfortunately a really grubby, I think this is a Gibraltar one pound coin. Really grubby, very bad. And if I flip it over, I can only just make out there on the right, Gibraltar. I think that says 19, get in focus, I think that says 1998. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Nevertheless, that's a, a very welcome addition to my collection. Okay, cool. So. Yeah, we'll put them in as well. Uh, let me put these two cities in to my album. Okay, they're in my album. Now, what I'm gonna do quickly, because I, I don't want this video to drag on forever, I'm gonna go through the one pound coins that I'm missing, flash a picture up on screen, and if you have one of these coins spare, and you and if I have something here that you're missing, then please get in contact with me and we can sort out some trades. Or consequently, if you're missing some two pound coins, I'm happy to trade for them as well. I am missing flax, one pound coin, the oak tree, the crowned shield. Now I've tried buying this one on, on eBay and I, I keep getting outbid. That's like a crazy coin to find, which is number five on um, change checkers scarcity list. Uh, the lion, and I thought I had one of those. That's weird, isn't it? Anyway, the fourth bridge, the millennium bridge, uh, the rose, the daffodil, and the thistle. And of course, like I said, I'm missing the last one pound coin, but um, I've got one on its way, so cool. That's it for now. There's loads there for you to be getting on with. Lots of homework for you. Uh, find me some of those coins. <laughs> I'll list them all in the description below. I'll list all the coins I'm missing there. Uh, help me find them. Please help me find them. Um, I want to get this finished. Um, I hope you liked that video. Please go and uh, like it and comment um, if you did. I'm sure you're already subscribers, but you know if you're not, go and do that for me please as well and um, really until the next video um, just keep looking out for those coins to collect